Hello all, welcome to the video session. I am Dr. Godwin Raj, Assistant Professor, Department of English. In this video session, I would like to discuss about one of the Francis Bacon's essay of travel. Of travel is one of the simplest essays by Francis Bacon and uh, this whole essay deals about the travel, travel experience and how a traveler should make his arrangements while traveling. So Francis Bacon gives various tips about the travel and traveling experience. So let's discuss. In the opening lines he tells, travel in the English sort is a part of education, in the elder a part of experience. In those days, younger men were made to travel to different parts, you know, different parts of the world, different parts of Europe. For example, if a guy, if a young guy is in London, he'll be made to travel to uh, France, Italy, because these were the places which were rich in culture, you know. So these younger men were made to travel as a part of their education, as a part of their learning, to travel to different places in order to learn more. So that's what Bacon says, travel in the English thought is a part of education, in the elder a part of experience. In the elder you don't travel much to learn new things, but you already know these things, so you travel to experience those things. So it's completely different from learning and experiencing it. So that's what Bacon says in the opening lines that traveling in the English thought is a part of education. You travel to learn, but in the elder it's part of experience. You go, you relax there, you experience there. So it's completely different. That's what Bacon says. So now Bacon will be giving various tips about how to travel, what are the things you should keep in mind while traveling. So the first point he tells is, he that traveleth into a country before he had some entrance into the language goeth to school not to travel. So the first tip he gives is, if you're traveling to a new, new place, learn some knowledge, have some knowledge about the language of the place that you travel. For example, if you're traveling to Germany, learn some words in Germany that will help you. Or else it will be like going to a school, not traveling. To, you'll be going there, you'll be learning, you'll be trying to learn new things, trying to learn some words. You know, you'll not know certain things. So it will be like going to school, not traveling. You'll not go there and experience. You'll have that fear that you don't know certain things, you don't know certain words. So the first tip he gives is, he that traveleth into a country, before he had some entrance into the language, you have some knowledge about the language that will help you a lot. So next he tells, that young man travel under some tutor or grave servant I allow well, so that he be such a one that had the language and had been in the country before whereby he may be able to tell them what things are worthy to be seen in the country where they go, what acquaintance they are to seek, what exercises or discipline the place yieldeth, for else young men shall go hooded and look abroad little. You, you learn some knowledge about the place that you travel and you travel, or else take a tutor, accompany a tutor or a grave servant who have already been to the place, who already has some knowledge about the language of the place, that you're traveling. You accompany, you take them along with you. He'll help you. He'll know what are the places that are worthy to be seen. What are what the place yieldeth. You know, what the place offers you. You know, he, he'll already have a knowledge about that. So that will help you. So that's what he tells you. You take one tutor or a servant who already knows the place very well. You know, that he'll help you in a lot of way. That will make you the traveling a traveling experience very healthy so that's what details uh, you know he'll he'll be help he'll be helping you in in seeking the places that you need to see what exercises or the discipline the place yielded so he'll be telling these are the places that are worthy to be seen he'll take you there you don't have to go and struggle there so if you don't do these things if you don't know the language or if you don't take the tutor the young men shall go hooded you know it will be like your vision, vision is limited. You don't see a lot of things. It's like going hooded. Look abroad little. You'll, you'll find very little things. So the next point he tells is, It is a strange thing that in sea voyages where there is nothing to be seen but sea and sky, men should make diaries. But in land wherein so much is to be observed, 
for the most part they omit it as if chances were fitter to be registered than observation let diaries therefore be brought in news the next point bacon insists is the use of diaries so the first observation he makes is yes he he's he's seen in the sea voyages many people use diaries but what he tells is in sea voyages there is nothing much to be seen or there is nothing unexpected that happens at a regular basis but in land if you travel by land you you are you see something that happens on a regular basis something unexpected happens you meet a lot of people but in sea it doesn't happen like that it's plain sea and the same sky so the same people accompany with you the whole voyage but in land travel there are a lot of people in the different places that you travel and each place will give you a different experience so that's what he tells i see he has seen many people use diaries in the sea voyages but not in the land he tells use diaries because whatever see you see on the way they are not just to be observed but to be registered so make use of the diaries so that's what that's what tells in this point so the next he gives a list of things that list of places that you go and you should visit in a country you know to the play if you are visiting a new place he gives a list that go and visit these are the places that you need to go and visit the things to be seen and observed are the courts of princes especially when they give audience to ambassadors the courts of justice while they sit and hear causes and of consistories ecclesiastic the churches and monasteries so remember francis bacon in the, lived in the time where the kings and the queens were ruling the major part so he tells when you travel to a new place go and meet the courts of princes especially when they are giving when they are addressing their audience addressing their people uh, courts of justice to the to the courts where they sit and hear causes and so of consistories ecclesiastic the churches and monasteries I remember the churches hold hold uh, in those time were holding the major power where the major power house during those times so you go and visit those places the walls and the fortifications of cities towns the havens harbors where the where the commerce or the trading happens antiquities and ruins you go visit those antiquities and ruins you'll know the history about that place he tells go visit the libraries colleges disputations where the debates happens and lectures happens where are any where any are wherever it happens you go visit these things like courts of princes uh, libraries havens harbors you go visit those places the list continues shippings and navy navies houses and gardens of state and pleasure near great cities armories arsenals magazines exchanges versus warehouses exercises of arm horsemanship fencing training of soldiers and like and the like comedies such where and to the better sort of persons do resort so it tells go visit those visit these kinds of places like arsenals magazine exchanges uh, those times during the war these places hold very importance uh, have very importance uh, because they hold this and so you go visit these places and it tells go visit the comedies such where into the better sort of person resort to sort it is go visit the places place or uh, dramas where it happens but not to not just any ordinary dramas but uh, where the better sort of persons you know better better place happens you go visit there visit that trustees of jewels and robes cabinets and rarities some rare things museums you go visit the, those places and to conclude whatsoever is memorable in the places where they go whatever is memorable in, the, in that place which is what is favorite in that place you go visit that that's what it tells after all which the tutors or servants ought to make diligent inquiry the tutor or the someone who is accompanying you right uh, he should he should have a diligent inquiry he should make a diligent inquiry and he should make arrangements he should he should have a certain knowledge which are the places that you should go and visit so he should make a diligent inquiry that's what it tells as for triumphs masks feasts weddings funerals capital executions and such shows men need not to be put in mind and of them yet they are not to be neglected so these places where the high dramas of high emotions happens like weddings funerals capital executions 
in those times capital executions attracted many people it was a huge entertainment so such shows men may not you need not put mind like you need not worry that you should go and visit that place but if it happening on your way if you're traveling and it happening on the way you don't have to neglect them also you just go visit them and you move on that's what it tells so if you if you will have a young man to put his travel into a little room and in short time to gather much this you must do first as was said he must have some entrance into the long, long language before he go it then he must have such a servant or tutor as know the country as was likewise said let him carry with him also some card or book describing the country where he traveled so like i said he's again summarizing that uh, either the traveler should have some knowledge about the language of the place that he traveled or he should have he should either have a tutor or a servant who knows uh, better about the place then he tells carry some card or book you know nowadays we use google to know know about the place in those times uh, they'll have a certain book or a card that describe the place so you carry that which will help you in inquiry so he tells uh, let him keep a diary now he tells about the places or the place where you should uh, where he should stay the traveler should stay the accommodation he tells about let him not stay long in one city or town more or less as the place deserveth but not long nay when he stayeth in one city or town let him change his lodging from one end of one end part of the town to another which is a great adamant of acquaintance so he tells don't stay in one place for too long but if the place requires you to stay one or two three days don't stay in the same place he tells change the change the place from one end to another for example if you travel if you are staying in trichy for three days if you are staying uh, in one place you will not know the trichy a lot better but if you stay in one part of the town for example near stirangam one day you will know the antiquities or the or the old town of old town then you stay in uh, near the river kaveri river you'll know the other side of the town so you you change place from one end to another this will give you a lot uh, lot better idea about the place you'll you'll experience a lot more that's what he tells change place from a change place don't stay in one place for too long the next point he tells is let him sequester himself from the company of his countrymen and diet in such places where there is good company of the nation where he traveled now we tell the next point he insists uh, you you remove all your countrymen like you sequester himself you you avoid your countrymen you are when you are traveling to another place because when you are traveling with your own countrymen you not able to experience their traditions you know you'll be along with your countrymen experiencing your own things uh, you'll not experience new things there so he tells leave your country leave your countrymen while you're traveling and diet in such places where you should eat he tells where there is good company of the nation where he traveled you go and have food in those places where the good company of the nation comes let him upon his removes from one place to another procure accommodation to some person of quality residing in the place whither he removeth that he may use his favor in those things he desireth to see or know thus he may abridge his travel with much profit so if you are uh, leaving one place if there is a is a big person there get a recommendation letter from him that will help you to see and see some places in the in the next city you know in those times uh, only they'll only carry letter so this recommend letter uh, recommendation letter that you uh, that you process from this place will help you in the next place which will favor you that's what he tells and the next point he tells us as for that points acquaintance which is to be sought in travel that is that which is most of the all profitable is acquaintance with the secretaries and employed men of ambassadors so if you're trying to make acquaintances uh, if you're trying to make company go and meet the secretaries and ambassadors of the nation you know because they might have so much of travel experience they've already traveled to different nations so they have a uh, great experience or a uh, great experience so if you go and make acquaintance with them you will have so much of experience that's what is you shall suck the experience of many that's what it tells let him also see and visit eminent persons you go meet the celebrities or the or the great persons of the field which are of great name abroad 
you know these players and those person who have a great name in the other nations also like celebrity he that he may be able to tell how the life of cricket fame, with fame uh, you might go and visit them and you can check uh, are they really worthy you uh, know how uh, how their fame goes with their life you might be able to see them so the next point he tells is for quarrels they are with care and discretion to be avoided they are commonly for mistresses health plays and words and let a man be fair how he keepeth company with choleric and quarrelsome persons for they will engage him into some into their own quarrels so it tells when there is a quarrel that is happening you don't get involved don't quarrel in other nation the to the nation where you're traveling because it's completely different the quarrel in your own place is completely different from the quarrel you make in other nation so he tells avoid all those people avoid the choleric persons you know those persons who tend to fight who wants to fight you you don't get involved in all those so he tells then he also tells what are the reasons this quarrels happen for mistresses health place and words so these are the reasons major reasons why this quarrels happens so you you avoid these quarrels and you move away and uh, the next point he tells us when a traveler returneth home let him not leave the countries where he where he hath traveled all together behind him but maintain a correspondence by letters with those of his acquaintances which are of most worth so when you return back home you don't leave that country or the place where you traveled completely all together but you maintain a correspondence you maintain a relationship by correspondence letters to the persons who are worthy so he tells maintain a relationship and let him tra- travel appear rather in his discourse than his apparel and ge- or gesture and in his discourse let him be rather advise in his answer than forward to tell stories and let it appear that he did not change his country manners for those of foreign parts so what francis bacon tells here is you know uh, let his travel appear rather in his discourse you know not in the apparels you know when you travel and come back to your home you do not show show off by putting their garments and apparels you don't show others that you've traveled to those places but through the discourse but through through your through your dialogues you know and that too you you need to be very very sensitive about how you answer them he tells rather advise in a sensor than forward to tell stories when someone asks you don't tell stories about the play you know keep on telling the stories that makes other boring but rather be advised you be precise about the things that you have seen uh, when you tell about the travel experience and uh, the other point he tells is that not change his country manners for those of foreign parts you know you don't change your own country manners you don't lose or lose your own nativity for the foreign things he tells you you retain your own your own nativity uh, you do not change your country manners for those of foreign parts but he tells but only prick in some flowers of that he had learned abroad into the customs of his own country but any good values that you've learned he compares it to the flowers you know any good values or the good manners that you've learned you incorporate into your own customs you can do that so that's how he tells about the travel and the traveling experience and the traveling nature and how a traveler should behave and how a traveler should be ready with certain things in order to travel so that's how bacon discusses discuss about traveling in the in the whole essay and i thank you for this wonderful opportunity thank you